Hi everyone, Gavin here. So I'm out in the country and I'm going to test out this Gravensteiner from Felton's. Yeah, um, it comes in a steiny bottle, but it's not a small one. It's a 500 milliliter bottle, and I'm going to pour it into this glass. Um, actually, it all came as a pack. It came like five of these plus one glass. It's a nice glass, huh? Okay, now let's test it out. I'm not a big fan of felt-ins, the normal stuff. Maybe this will be a little bit different. Okay, actually it looks like the glass is too small for the bottle. So this goes to 300 milliliters. Okay, but let's see anyway. Aha. Okay, now this has a kind of like brownish reddish color to it. So it's not like a pilsner. But there we go. Okay. Um, so on the nose it's kind of like a lager or a pilsner. Um, maybe a little hint of citrus. Nothing remarkable. Okay, now for the taste test. Oh wow, um, that actually tastes quite uh, quite woody and quite nutty, um, but it does have that kind of uh, pilsner taste to it. It's a little bit strange because of the colour, the colour doesn't really match the flavour if that makes any sense. Um, kind of looks a little bit like uh, Altbier, you know, from Dusseldorf. Okay, now, I have to be honest, it's not my favourite beer. Um, but I mean it's drinkable. Yeah, flavour-wise, it's... <coughs> it's okay. Um, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. And uh, I think it's one of those beers that's probably quite refreshing on a warm day. Uh, today's a cold day outside. Um, we're in the middle of winter. Um... Actually, it's not that cold. It's about seven or eight degrees. There's nothing really I can compare it to too much. I think um, <clears throat> if you're familiar with uh, Kilkenny uh, from Ireland or Newcastle Brown Ale, I would say somewhere in between uh, those two flavour-wise. <clears throat> but. It has quite an effervescence to it. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it is really quite fizzy. It's not really picking up. And as you can see, the head is uh, is holding tight as well. The good thing is I've got a, a glass that's too small for the volume of the bottle. So it means uh, as the head goes down, I can top it up a little bit just by pouring in vertically. And have a nice solid head again. Yeah, it's okay. Um, let's put a figure on it. 7 out of 10. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think this is probably a, a niche for somebody. Um, there'll probably be um, some fans of this beer. Um, and it's probably the only thing that they drink. Yeah, so it's probably, <clears throat> for some people, it's a, it's a cult beer. Yeah, okay, so uh, sorry about the brevity of the video. Um, I don't really have anything to to say about it. Um, other than it's okay and I'm glad that I tested it. Okay. Cheers and ciao for now.